my channel. So if you want to see how I did this glam kind of festival makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting some tape on the sides of my eye because I cannot do the straight line without it because who is that talented, honestly? Doesn't tear. Ow! Myself in the eye. I feel like I literally poke myself in the eye every single video. If you want your eyeshadow to last all day at a music festival, uh, you're definitely going to want to use a primer because otherwise your makeup will just like slide around. I'm using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Okay, now I'm going to set that eyeshadow primer with a, just like a skin colored, skin colored something. I'm using the Sonia Kashuk palette. I'm using this shade right here. And just to set that so it's not so tacky and that my other eyeshadow colors will blend easier. So I'm starting with the definitely overused Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. I'm gonna put it in the crease. Can't even see that. Can't see it, whatever. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more, put it all over the lid. It doesn't really matter that you can't see it because I'm gonna be putting other colors on top of it anyways. I guess you can probably just skip this step, but whatever, I already started. Can't stop now. That was literally pointless, but whatever. I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee. I'm gonna do the same thing I just did with Peach Smoothie. So I'm gonna dust it in the crease. Make sure you're going out to the side so that you have the nice winged eyeliner look. And I'm just layering this product until it's the color I want it to be. And there goes the sun. Come back! Okay, now on a more precise blending brush, this is the MAC 217. I'm gonna be taking Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear Eyeshadow and I'm gonna do that same thing, just not as messy, because this is a pro dark shadow. Makeup Geeks Corrupt. I'm gonna put on the, the lash line here and then wing it back towards the tape. Well, I'm just gonna like, just like fluff the black off my brush. Look at that craziness. Anyways, then I'm going to just a little bit blend that inward. Go back into Cocoa Bear a tiny bit and put more onto my lid. Okay, now for the fun part. We are going to take a little bit of this hard candy sheer glow, soft glow illuminator. Anyways, I'm just using it because it's sticky. We're going to be putting that on the inner third of the lid. into this extra fun glitter, just got it from Walmart. And I'm going to pat that right on the sticky glue stuff. Kinda just decided to use the brush and break up the sparkles a little bit. Well, I'm just gonna take 
a makeup remover and a q-tip and fix all that black nonsense now I'm going to go in with my foundation this is the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation and I have mine in the shade light 3 or Gobi Alright, and since we are trying to make our makeup last all day, I'm going to do a cream contour underneath my powder contour, you know, for all day wear. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 30 Cafe. I'm just trying to see you. to fix up that contour line with a little bit of concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. my under eyes I'm using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer and I don't know what shade it is but it's super light so I'm gonna put that under my eyes I'm gonna use it to highlight so I'm gonna bring it back just a wee bit <laughs> So this is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder, and it's in the shade Translucent. I'm just going to dump a little bit of that into the cap. Alright, and to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me powder in 120. Okay, now that the face is mostly done, we can move back to the eyes, but first I'm gonna put on my eyebrows with my Anastasia dip brow in medium brown. Okay, and I'm going to set my eyebrows, but I'm just gonna set them with any clear brow gel. So I use the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Gel. It's actually for your eyelashes, but I use it for my brows, and you can see that it looks disgusting and brown now. Now I'm going to take NYX Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil and a tiny little angle brush. I'm going to do a small white line underneath the line of that black wing. And now to make that white more intense, I'm going to be putting Makeup Geek White Lies over it. Okay, I'm going to take more of that and I'm going to make a small wing on the inner corner. Then I'm going back into Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and I'm going to use the same brush and put a little wing underneath both. brush take that same color and run it along the entire lower lash line 
Slightly smoke underneath this wing. Precisely, we're gonna do the same thing with corrupt, but this is gonna be focused more right in the corner. I'm just, I'm just trying to see you. Just smoke this inner corner a little bit. my lashes. Okay, I'm gonna put the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara on my top and bottom lashes. So I'm taking my Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm going to bronze up my skin. Be taking my Becca highlighter in opal. Then, on top of the opal highlighter, I'm going to use this dripping in gold in the Anastasia glue kit. I'm going to put a little bit of that dripping in gold underneath my brow bone. A little bit on the tip of my nose and my cupid bow. And finally for lips, I'm gonna do a more natural lip because my eyes are so intense. This is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude. completed makeup look and I really hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!